Hello everyone, this is um, Joni with Designs from Joni and uh, I have uh, made a shirt. Uh, I've made uh, several of these before. Uh, I always make them on a sweatshirt though. And um, this time I chose to put it on a t-shirt because the, the weather was so warm down here that um, I decided to go ahead and put it on a t-shirt. And um, I will um, try to show you some of the designs up close. And the reason why you see most of it finished is because um, I thought the other night when I started this shirt that uh, everything was doing right, but um, evidently something was wrong. And um, I did half of the shirt and I got uh, tired and so I just stopped and I thought I'd finish it the following day. So when I started to um, uh, continue with it, I found out that uh, it hadn't filmed at all. So um, I had over half of the shirt done and um, it, there was nothing in the camera. So uh, I had to do it over. But uh, uh, So anyway, I'm the, I had problems with this because it is on a t-shirt and I had never used uh, this kind of paint on a t-shirt. And when I put the paint on the t-shirt, um, the uh, the shirt really isn't a uh, dark red. It's sort of a pinkish red. And the colors that I had chosen were light summer colors. And um, the pretty pinks and reds and blues and greens and things like that. And uh, it should have shown up really well. But the material on the um, t-shirt uh, just absorbed every bit of the uh, liquid in the uh, paint and um, it all uh, it just made the paint flat and you could hardly see the line that was put in there with the paint so I went back over that again and it still didn't raise it enough to where you could really see anything so I did it a third time and um, this is uh, how it turned out that time. So it finally got the paint the way it was supposed to be. And uh, I ended up though not using some of the colors that I had uh, decided to do before uh, because they were just um, so much, uh, they just turned out to be so much the same color as the shirt that they really didn't, um, they had no individuality at all. So um, I just let it go. Um, like that and changed my colors and put them uh, into a deeper color and um, I like these equally as well as I did the others. The others might have been a little more fun but um, these are uh, really pretty and uh, so I've finished all of this now except I have one little triangle over here that I have to do and um, I will give you the names of um, all of the paints that uh, I have, uh, not all of them, but the ones that uh, you can see on the shirt right now. I first used the uh, Scribbles, um, uh, the dimensional fabric paint, and um, the Alaskan Orchid, and um, then I used the uh, Iridescent Aloha Orchid, and I used the Shimmering Teal, and then I used the uh, Viva, um, let's see, I used the uh, Viva uh, Perling, I hope that's pronounced right, pen, and that's in the Ice White. And um, then I used uh, the uh, Polymark, and uh, that is in the White Pearl. And then I used the Tulip Slick uh, to outline everything in. And that is in the fluorescent uh, blue. And um, the colors look pretty on it now. Um, but um, I just really originally wanted a, a brighter color. But these are really bright now since um, I've gotten them uh, to stand out on there. But I had to put about... I think I have about three coats on here now to um, make them stand up. And then with the, the um, pearling pen, I was able to put uh, the little uh, things that look like pearls around each one of the um, 
uh, patterns. And the way that I made these um, things, uh, the, the design, uh, I took each thing and uh, you want to fix it to where it goes around the neckline uh, so that it'll go around from one shoulder, you know, just about around to the, almost to the other one. And it sort of forms a um, semicircle around the neckline. And then you have the front that hangs down here in front. And uh, it does, uh, my daughter was saying that it looks somewhat like a necklace, and it does. And it has the um, Aztec uh, look to me, and I love things that look like that. So um, it, it makes me very happy when I see something like this. But um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and complete this one uh, little uh, triangle that I have left here. And uh, I have some little things here around on my shirt and um, they look sort of like little flowers or something and what I did with this um, I didn't have the kind when I was making the sweatshirt um, I had a large um, uh, piece of, of uh, cardboard that goes up in there uh, to uh, put your shirt on and it was a, an adult size well, I haven't been able to find any adult sizes now. They're all basically about probably for a 10, 12-year-old child. So uh, that's what I had on the shirt, and it just doesn't take enough of the fabric up, and it, and it bends sort of on you and everything. So it just didn't work out the way that uh, the other one did for me, the heavier one, because uh, it keeps everything just nice and and straight and uh, everything it doesn't uh, mess up on you as much but uh, I got it pretty well I think and but uh, where I was had the little pearls here uh, I, I dropped just a little bit of paint there and uh, when I did that I would just take uh, one of my pearl uh, pearlin pen uh, and uh, I would just make a little flower there so you really can't tell that it's a mess up and it really wasn't that much of a mess up anyway, but I just didn't want some paint being there. So uh, I went ahead and put that on there. And it makes it look like it, you meant to do it. So um, that all worked out good. Now as for the pattern, uh, I took my daughter's sweatshirt and I drew a pattern from it. And um, uh, you can see the pattern, hopefully. And uh, that's one of them. And um, then the part that goes above it is like this. And um, it's really hard to see those things so far away. And um, then I had the round one like this. And uh, uh, all you do is just take those and basically draw a, a design that you would like. And uh, then lay it out like this, and go ahead and paint it with your uh, paint. And uh, you will come up with something looking very much so like mine. And um, I'll go ahead and start this paint for you and um, let you see that it is um, rather easy to do this. I had better get a piece of uh, my paper out here because... Um, as we all know, if we've used paints, they can be uh, rather messy at times. And um, I always try to keep um, a piece of um, paper handy in case uh, I need to uh, clean it off of something. So uh, that makes it a lot easier if you have the paper. And uh, there's a lot of air in the bottles and you need to um, get that air out of the bottle too. So um, I have made shirts like this. I've made boo-goos of shirts like this. And um, uh, I probably have made around, I'm, I'm going to say conservatively maybe 50. And um, I've made them for my nephews and, and uh, nieces and brother and my daughter and um, 
uh, funny though, I never have made one for myself. And uh, I guess I was just too busy making them for other people. And um, I've always wanted to make one of these for myself, but I never did get around to it. And, um, but they are really, really pretty. And um, uh, on the other shirts, they weren't all like this shirt, though. Uh, I fixed different kinds of uh, shirts. And um, I just see something that I like, and then I start making it. And um, it, it's really nice to have uh, a shirt. Tanya loves hers. That's my daughter. She loves her shirt. She can't wait for me to get through with this shirt so that she can take hers back home with her. And um, she's had it a long time, but um, it still looks like it's almost brand new. And um, they will do that if you take care of them. And uh, she, um, my granddaughter, she wants one for herself too. So uh, they all like them. And uh, my brother is a hunter, or he was a hunter. He's no longer with us. But um, he liked um, to go hunting and everything. So I fixed him one that had, um, um, I believe it was a deer on it. See, that isn't coming out too well right there. I have to get it going. And um, then you just make the design like you choose and put it on here. And um, I want to make a winter sweatshirt when it gets cold. And um, I think that will be nice. So, um, <laughs> it's hard to talk when you're putting some of these dots down because you don't know when they're gonna go puff on you and splatter. But um, there's that. And um, if you make these, I know Tanya worked for, when we lived down here in the 90s, she worked for Armstrong World Industries. And she loved the girls she worked with so much and we moved back home, and um, she said, Mom, I want to get them something for Christmas. And I said, well, how about if I make them a shirt, a Christmas shirt? And she said, oh, they would love it. So I made 15 shirts and sent them to her friends. And I gave each a shirt a number and pinned it on it because we didn't want to play favorites or anything. So we just put a number on the shirt, and then they drew numbers when they got the shirt, the box. And um, they were thrilled to death with those shirts, and each of them got a shirt that they dearly loved, and they just couldn't believe that uh, they had so many shirts sent down there to them. And um, so she really liked that idea, and everybody was pleased. and. It made me happy that everybody else was happy. So now I have made the design there. Now I'm going to put the drops around the pearls the, around the design. And one way that I have found that it's easy to uh, sort of get uh, your footing with these to know where to put them. If you just put one at each corner, uh, that sort of lines them up. Uh, and then if you put one in the center of each side, that gives you a little bit of something to go by of knowing how many you have to put between the center and the end of it. And uh, then they work out uh, more evenly for you than if you start maybe up there, up one end, and you go down and it's too um, close or something like that. But if you put them at the corner and at the top and at the right amount of space that you want, 
uh, you'll uh, nine times out of ten end up getting them a lot more even than if you just start making them right down th the line on the uh, design. So um, that's one thing I found out when I was making all of those shirts that I made. And I love to do it. Um, I wouldn't have made them had I not liked doing all those shirts. And uh, it's really pleasing to know that people appreciate um, the things that you make and uh, give it to them. And um, we just had a very good time with the whole situation. Okay, now there is your design, and it's made. And you see, it didn't take me any time to make that. And um, I hope I was in camera when I was doing that. I just now looked. Yes, I was. So that's good. Uh, I was about to think that I was off camera. But um, uh, I think that uh, you will uh, like the, uh, making a shirt like this. And um, if you uh, want to make one, uh, feel free to make it. And um, uh, if you make one, uh, go ahead and send me uh, a picture of it or something. And um, I'll see what your ideas are. And um, if you liked uh, the video, give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe because I'm still trying to get people subscribing. And it's hard to get uh, all of these subscribers in. But um, uh, if you'll just share the things that, that you've seen about my videos. And if you've never seen any of my videos, I do have more on uh, YouTube. So you can go and, and look for those and uh, then share them with your friends and uh, uh, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And uh, I hope, though, that you did like them. So uh, I'm going to close out for now and um, I'm going to be back with another video, hopefully within the next couple days or so. So uh, I'll see you guys later and uh, I hope that you all are well and happy and that your crafting is doing well for you. And you come back again and we'll craft some more. Thank you. Bye-bye.